6,300 in the world, and Magic Archer plus Heal Spirit is absolutely unstoppable. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jake at Kia Tag, and today we're back in again with this Magic Archer Mega Knight deck that is so safe and strong on ladder. If your opponent's got Hog Rider, Ram Rider, or Battle Ram Bridge Spam, there is no chance that they ever break through your Electro Wizard, Mega Knight, Goblin Cage, Log. It's pretty much impenetrable. You've also got a ton of Fireball Bait with the Magic Archer, Electro Wizard, and Royal Hogs, so your opponent will never know what to use their spells on. It's super easy to get counter pushed with the Goblin Cage Brawler, the Mega Knight, and seamlessly transition defense into offense with the Heal Spirit. No matter what crazy matchup I get on ladder, I feel like I'm pretty safe with this Magic Archer deck. So let's go jump straight into some games and assert some dominance. And a huge shout out to all of you guys that are using Critic Hood Surtag in any Supercell game. All money made from Critic Hood Surtag goes directly back in improving the channel's setup editing and it allows me to upload daily videos while i take full-time college courses so thank you guys for supporting me and helping me grow the channel all right we got a game here i'm gonna sauce out a good luck and we're gonna see what's up definitely want to go for a tennis ball to kick open the game score some points on the enemy tower and we'll go for a bandit in the back yo he's just gonna eat it like a snack let's go dude let's get it you're eating it like an apple that's what i like to call the tennis ball sometimes it, it looks like a fuji apple just a yellow scrumptious delectable apple so I could go for a Magic Archer here. Oh, you definitely have a Wall Breakers Minor Cycle deck. So we want to get every ounce of chip damage we can. And that was really annoying for you because that is a two elixir investment that is not going to give you too much. I can go in for an Electro Wizard here with the log. And I think the Electro turns back on top of the Miner. So yeah, you're not going to be able to get that chip. I knew it was going to be Wall Breakers as soon as we saw the Spear Goblins, guys. Oh my goodness. Are we going to be forced to go in for a Bandit on that Spear Goblin? You know what? We're not forced to, but I kind of want to because he doesn't have Spear Goblins in Cycle. We know we're going to get a Knight from him. I'm doing this because I want to. And then he might have Bomb Tower for the Royal Hogs. We'll see. I could go for Goblin Cage. Ooh, this is so dicey. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go for Goblin Cage here, and then we're going to go in for Magic Archer on the left. So the reason why I'm just kind of ignoring the left-hand side is I want to make sure that he's going to have Dispersed Damage. Got a lot of damage here. You got a lot of damage on the right, but nothing concentrated, so we're chilling. We're definitely vibing here. Whenever we play against a Wall Breaker Cycle deck, one of the number one ways of breaking through is slow rolling a Mega Knight. So if you guys didn't know, now you know. When we're up enough Elixir, I will justifiably spam a Mega Knight in the back, and then we can make a huge push. Otherwise, we can't break through the Bomb Tower. So we'll see what he does here. He's down a lot, as you guys can see. We're at like six Elixir, and he still hasn't cycled something with a Mega Knight on the map. So you love to see it. I can probably go in for a Heal Spirit here. And then go in for an Electro Wizard on top of the bats. And I think that we will be able to do some dual lane aggression as per usual. So here we go. So the Bandit's going to be able to break through the Knight. He still doesn't have a great answer to the Mega Knight. So then he has to go for a Bomb Tower. And if the Bomb Tower dies to the Bandit and the Mega Knight, he has nothing on the left. So that is exactly what you guys want to do. We're going to be able to go for Magic Archer, line it up with the bats, get even more chip damage on the tower, force out a Knight. And that is what we love to see, baby. So I think he's going to go all in. Yes, sir. We can go and pull some of those. And yeah, we're able to actually pull the wall breakers and the knight with that. Patience is a virtue, my dudes. I'm able to go and slow roll another Mega Knight because we're up Elixir with a Goblin Cage Brawler rolling in at him. This is my time to shine. We know he's probably going to go in for wall breakers again. We'll have to wait and see. If he doesn't, I would be super uh, surprised. And yeah, we're able to go for dueling aggression part two, guys. We've got Bandit and Electro Wizard and always got his Spear Goblins. There is no way for you to defend this, my dude. We're going for Heal Spirit, Royal Hogs, and you have to go for a Log, but you're too delayed because you don't have enough Elixir in time. And then we can finish off the tower with Mega Knight and uh, the Magic Archer if we need to. So yeah, GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. It was a pleasure playing against you. So if it feels impossible breaking through the Knight and the Bomb Tower defenses, just slow roll a Mega Knight in the back, and you'll win every time. Just make sure that you're up Elixir before you do it. So we're going to go for a tennis ball, this guy's going to go for a log, and then we're going to follow up with a Royal Hogs. What are you going to have, my dude? You're going to have Tesla and you're going to have Log. You are definitely going to have an Expo deck. So against Expo, we also need to go in for Mega Knights in the back, and then Slow Roll. Oh my gosh! That was too close. It was playing with my feelings for so long. I was like, wait, is that going to get a hit? And then it didn't, and then the other Royal Hog was about to activate King Tower, and that was so scary, man. You were playing with my feelings, and I'm so lucky we didn't get burned. He's going to go in for an Ice Wizard in the back, and I can go in for Magic Archer here. Line it up with the tower, hopefully. Oh, it did not work out. He's going to go for a Log, try to get more Chip. And I think he's going to Log, then I can go in for a Bandit, and then also go in for a Heal Spirit after. 
So if this bandit gets on the tower, this could be really annoying for him. We're going to heal up the bandit and the magic archer. No way. You'll love this CF, baby. The magic archer is forcing out so much more elixir. And then he messes up his ice lizard too. He's only going to have tornado. If the royal hogs get ahead of the magic archer, he's going to lose the game because he won't have tornado in sight because he doesn't have enough elixir for it. So he has to go for log and skeletons. He's scavenging together anything he can. He's digging through the dumpster for elixir. But this was all I had. And he just found, like, a half-eaten McDonald's sandwich, guys. That's all he was left with. He didn't get anything exquisite from that. So we're doing really well. Oh, my goodness. He's also a really good player. He's a top ladder player. I remember him. So he's going to go in for a Tesla. He's going to sack it early on, too. I think we slow roll Mega Knight because we're up Elixir and you don't have Tesla in cycle. You could go opposite lane. I would definitely expect an Expo here. We can ban it immediately. I think that's going to potentially lock. Oh, my goodness, guys. Oh, too good, too good. You love to see it. I'm gonna eat the remnants of the expo because it doesn't matter to me. He doesn't take out my tower and then we can go in for Magic Archer, finish off the knight. I think he's probably gonna go for a log so we're gonna drop Heal Spirit off to the side. Notice how the Magic Archer is gonna be hitting the Ice Wizard and it's gonna hit the knight at the same time. That is so good. We can go for Royal Hogs. He tried to go in for a Tesla so the Mega Knight didn't jump. But now the Royal Hogs are jumping for joy all over your tower. And even when you miss up the tornado, everything is crashing down. A really, really good expo player, by the way. But man, we played this extremely well, in my opinion, and every interaction went my way. Every wildest dream came firmly rooted in reality as his towers came crumbling and crashing down like a cookie. And it was a delicious cookie, too. I love beating Expo Rocket Cycle. GG and well played, brother. All right, we got a game here. We're gonna sauce out a good luck and we're gonna see what's up. What are you gonna have in store for us, my dude? I read his name is Villager, but I don't think he's a villager. He's a Villwaver. I've never seen that name before. I've never seen that word before. You're an extraordinary, exquisite sir. Someone that I've never, ever thought that I would face. So I'm gonna go for a tennis ball. You've got Fireball, so I think that you could have Expo. You could also have like a fast cycle deck. I don't know, I can't wait to find out though. Oh, you got Royal Giant. So whenever we play against Royal Giant, we want to go for Goblin Cage. We also want to go in for an Electro Wizard on top of the bats as they counter push. So we're going to decimate the bats, annihilate the Royal Giant, and make this guy a very sad panda. So yeah, here we go. Shut those down. He went in for a zap too. He's trying to get more chip damage on me. You are so greedy. You are so exceptionally greedy. I'm going to go for a Heal Spirit with a Bandit because you just used your log. So you have no way of killing the Heal Spirit. He's just going to tower trade me. All right, I'm a vibe. I'm going to vibe with that for sure. Because we can Magic Archer to finish off the bats. And if those bats die, the Magic Archer is going to give us counter push in the right after. So this is a really dynamic, crazy, wild game. Something that I haven't seen before, man, just like his name. That's right. I'm a unique thinker. It's all fitting. Okay, we know he's going to fireball, so I can't drop it here. So if I drop it here, all the Royal Hogs still go towards the tower. And then he's not able to fireball everything at once. So yeah, we knew he was going to do that. So that's why I dropped it there. Magic Archer is going to lock. And we're in a pretty bad spot because he's got Royal Giant and he's got Fireball and Royal Giant excels in 1-1 one -one situations. So let's see if we can bounce back against the Villager. Might take an entire army and village to win this one, guys. We are with you, sire! I'm gonna go for Cage. Make sure that it goes in the right-hand side afterward. We can go for a Bandit and have it lock onto the Firecracker, I think. That might be a wave. Oh, that was so smart. I don't know if he thought about that. I don't know if he knew that I was going to go for a bandit, but if he did, really good play, my dude. I'm going to go for a log for some more chip damage, and we should be able to get away with an Electro Wizard. So those are really bad bats. Those are interesting. We can go in for Magic Archer here, and then I think we go in for a Mega Knight in the middle. Mega Knight right here. So let's see what he does. I don't know if he's back to barbs. Yeah, he's going to be back to barbs. Okay, that was wrong. I don't know if he's back to barbs. We're able to kill those barbarians though, and then go for a bandit in the middle when he doesn't have anything to stop it. Then that's a vibe. Oh, let's go! Magic Archer gave us some chip damage as well. You love to see it, my dudes. So yeah, if you want to do that, we can go in for cage. We can push that off. And we can go for an Electro Wizard to stun you after. So the Electro Wizard is still gonna go in the right hand side and the right lane for us. Double rights. And we go in for the Royal Hogs in the middle. Wait, you went in for a log. I think that allows us to go in for a heal spirit. I don't know if it's going to work out, but the Magic Archer might get enough chip damage with the Barbarians. Guys, the Magic Archer might do it to him. I'm hoping and praying that we can pull it, pull it off. I'm going to log back the Royal Giant so it doesn't get a connection. Then I'm an Electro Wizard. He's going to Fireball, but I don't think that the Royal Giant gets a hit. 
This game is going crazy out of our mind. If we just get a couple hits with this Royal Hogs, we win the game. Please explode on the bat so we heal up the Royal Hogs. Just give me a little bit of love. I'm going in for the log and we win the game. That was absolutely insane. And I wouldn't have it any other way. GG, well played and peace out. We only got 27 trophies because this guy was significantly lower than us. But that was a great vibe. So we're currently 9,000 in the world. Let's see if we can keep pushing up. So we've got a game here. I'm going to sauce out a good luck and we're going to see what's up. Definitely want to go for Bandit in the back. And this man is going to go for a Royal Giant. So when you go for Royal Giant, we're going to make sure that he walks and gets his exercise to go for that Goblin Cage. With a bandit, I'm pretty sure you only get like a couple hits on the tower. I think just two, right? If that. Yeah, only one. Wow, surprised me. So I can go for a heal spirit every single time they go for a log because then we're able to heal up the bandit and get a connection on the tower. Let's go. That's amazing. The goblin cage was actually a prisoner part two there, by the way, guys. He was treading behind the bandit and he couldn't go and endeavor into the wilderness ahead of him. So you're going to have fireball and you're going to have tornado. So you definitely have a good matchup here. And if we get into a 1-1 situation, I might lose the game. So I don't want to get into a 1-1 spot against Royal Giant. Generally, very bad for me. I have pulled it out before, but it's not easy. Nothing in this world that's worth having comes easy. So I'm going to go in for the band in the back here. We'll see what you got, man. You're not even mad, as your name says, but I'm pretty sure you are. I'm pretty sure you're a little bit mad because you took so much damage. We're going to be able to go for the Goblin Cage, and I can also go for an Electro Wizard up high, but I don't want to do that in case you're going to go for Bats. We'll see what you do here. So I don't want to give you too much Fireball value with the Goblin Cage Brawler and everything, joining forces together. I could go for a Mega Knight, though. Ooh. Do I want to do that? Put me in, Coach! I want to kick some butt! I definitely want to go for the Mega Knight, because I still have the Magic Archer alive, and he doesn't want to Fireball that. That's my justification, guys. Because the Magic Archer is going to give us chip damage on the tower with the Archer. And then we can go for a Heal Spirit to keep the Magic Archer alive even longer with the Mega Knight. Yo, every single card that we have always gets a hit because of the Heal Spirit. It's broken, guys. Oh my goodness. First it was the Bandit stealing this man's sanity. Then it was the Mega Knight jumping for joy, decimating this guy's hopes and aspirations, and crushing his tower. Teamwork. I just felt like... That Mega Knight was jumping over bubble wrap right there. It was just such a satisfying feeling, my dudes. That tower, it exploded. It imploded. And this man's brain is about to just devolve into chaos. I don't think that there's any way for you to defend this. If we go for a heal spirit and then we consistently go in for another bandit with the goblin cage brawler, we're going to heal up everything. And then you're just going to have that latch on effect. And he can't stop the bandit, man. He can't stop it. The bandit steals his towers. It steals his life points and it sends him to the shadow realm. I can maybe go in for another Mega Knight here. I'm going to go for Mega Knight first and foremost. Then we go for Electro Wizard. I just want to get more counter push instead of going for a cage. We're going balls to the walls out here, brothers. If you want a fireball, oh my goodness. Can we try to go for the three crown? Are we a dank memer? You already know we're a dank memer, but how dank of a memer are we? <laughs> are we able to go for a log? We have Royal Hogs. We got a log. We got Electro Wizard. We got the whole shebang out here. And it's banging down his tower. It's at his doorstep. And he doesn't want to answer the door. He doesn't want to accept reality. No way, I'm not home. <laughs> but he's about to get three crowned. If there was a couple seconds left in this game, he would have assuredly been very upset despite his name. And he would have lost the game in a three crown fashion. GG, well played and peace out, brother. All right, we got a game here. We're gonna sauce out a good luck and we're gonna see what's up. Definitely want to go for a log to open up the game. And he's not cycling anything. Okay. Dark Prince in the back. I'm going to go for Electro Wizard because it's probably not going to be a Balloon deck. I feel comfortable cycling that. We will see if you're going to Lightning me right now. There's a stark chance of that happening. I'm going to go in for a Goblin Cage after, and you're going to go for Musketeer. So I'm going to go and lose my Electro Wizard. It's not going to survive against the Musky. The Musketeer's range is too long. And unfortunately, the range of the Electro Wizard's life is coming to an end. So I could probably go in for a Bandit on the right. Goblin Cage is going to be able to shut down the Musketeer really good. And, ooh, it might be Graveyard. Could definitely be a Graveyard deck. So the way I want to play this is I want to go in for a Tennis Ball. Make sure that we're going to be able to heal up everything if he wants to be able to get damage on our Magic Archer. It doesn't happen, though. Okay, so he's got Prince, he's got Dark Prince, he's got Baby Dragon. I don't know what this is anymore. This is so weird. I'm going to Electro Wizard at the River. Usually it's not the play, but I think we can win the battle at the River if he wants to go in for, like, a Musketeer here. I hope he does. That would be awesome. He didn't do it. All right, so he's going to go for Graveyard at the River. Oh, my goodness. Wait, Double Prince Graveyard. Who runs that? What a wild, frisky sir. I am who I am. 
So I can go in for a bandit and nullify the Dark Prince's charge. As long as the skeleton dies, I'm just going to wait for that to die. Then I go in for the bandit. And we're in a really good spot. Because guess what he doesn't have? He's got no splash damage. No Dark Prince in sight. And pretty soon, there's going to be no tower left in sight either. That's going to be a lot. And the bandit goes on the musketeer. Oh my goodness, guys. These interactions are going so well for me. I want to go for a cage here just because I want to get a lot of counter push potential. Instead of sacrificing my magic archer for the greater good, I want to force out way more elixir from my man. So what are you going to do? Are you going to go for Dark Prince? Because we can just go in for an Electro Wizard, and if you overcommit, then we go in for Mega Knight on you. So it uh, doesn't really matter. Okay. Quite good stuff, guys. We're going to go for Magic Archer here. We're going to go for Bandit after. We're going to log. So we're going to be able to hit the Dark Prince, and he freezes! Oh my goodness! Yo, this is exquisite. I can just go for an Electro Wizard and stop that. Oh, I got a hit! I didn't stop it! I said I was going to stop it, and I lied! I got too, too close for comfort there, guys. My bad. Anyway, we go for Royal Hogs, we go for Heal Spirit, and we try to go for another Magic Archer. Just because we want to go and kill that Musketeer pronto. And the Magic Archer's rate of fire is so fast, man. Okay. So, double magic archers in the right. I guess he doesn't even care about that. He probably notices that, that that's not going to matter. We just need to go for an Electro Wizard here, and we should be fine to just shut down the Skeletons. I think if he log... Uh, yeah, we're just going to log on top of the uh, Prince. Go in for a Heal Spirit here. Finish off the Skellies. The Prince gets some damage, but it's ultimately great for me, because I can just go for Royal Hogs, and then go for Magic Archer, because you're going to drop a Dark Prince right down the middle. If you don't, I'd be shocked. I would be extremely surprised by you. Yeah, so we went for a barred barrel. Royal hogs are pulverizing through, and we walk away with the W. Yo, GG and well played. I really appreciate people that say well played and good game at the end of the game like this guy. He was just a really chivalrous sir. All right, we got a game here. We're going to see what's up. We're going to go sauce out of good luck and go for a bandit in the back. What are you going to have, my dude? What are you going to be dropping today? So he's going to give us some hog rider love, and he's not dropping anything on the bandit. So he was leaking elixir. Dude, I love seeing that. I don't know why you would do that at 4,000 in the world, but I'll take it. You are a swell guy. Thank you, brother, for the elixir investment. I am so happy right now. So the magic archer is also going to cripple that. You know the one bad thing here is he could have a lava hound miner deck. Or, yeah, go on with bomber against royal hogs. That's also not good. <laughs> That's not a good vibe here. I mean, it's probably a good vibe for us, but, you know, because everything's a good vibe. This deck is going to be difficult. This is going to be a very, very hard matchup for us. If they've got Golem plus Lightning, I think our best bet is to go for the Goblin Cage and then maybe go opposite lane aggression with a Bandit and see what we can make out with an Electro Wizard and a Mega Knight here. He's just going to ignore it and then go for an easy King Tower activation. Really well played on his end. I just thought you were bad at the game. I need to go for Electro Wizard and I think I need to go for Magic Archer as well. But, I, I, yeah, I think I'm going to line it up. He's not going to have enough Elixir for Lightning immediately. He will eventually, but not immediately. He's going to Lightning this, but I think that we're going to be able to kill the bats in time. Oh, he doesn't Lightning it. Yeah, that's great. As you guys saw, my Magic Archer placement, it was able to hit all the bats. So that's what you want to do if you're dropping your Magic Archer. Line it up with the Night Witch and the Golem so you can pierce through and get maximum value. So, at this point in the game, if the Mini P.E.K.K.A. dies, we're chilling. Please, Mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh my gosh, Magic Archer is going to hit the tower too. So I thought that this game was not going to be a, the easiest situation for us, but it has surprisingly been very good. I do love surprises. So Magic Archer is going to stay alive and it's not going to cross the river. Then we can go for a bandit. I think he's just going to eat it like a snack. Okay, do we sack a Mega Knight here? Do we sack a Mega Knight? We don't essentially sack it, but that's what we're going to drop first. And then we can save our Goblin Cage. So he's not going to be able to hit that immediately, right? I think that's going to be our best bet. I want to make sure that its HP doesn't decay for too long. Then we can go for Magic Archer right down here. Electro Wizard off to the side. We'll see when he tries to Lightning me, actually. Definitely want to go for Heal Spirit. Oh, is, is he not going to Lightning? Is he is he not about the life of Lightning? If we can kill everything and get back to another Mega Knight to tank for all of his spam, this would be amazing. Okay, he Lightning me. But the Mega Knight is going to jump for joy on top of the Bomber, and then we can get a Bandit down. This defense was clean, guys. It was pristine. It was the best thing you've ever seen, and man, we are chilling. I'm able to go for Royal Hogs in the middle. With 21 seconds remaining, there is nothing he can do. We just want to go in for another cage. 16 seconds, we can bounce back the Golem, kite it all over the map, and stun it with the Electro Wizard. Electricity! So you're not going to be able to break through, my dude. I thought we would probably lose this game. I didn't think that we were going to beat the Bomber 
plus golem lightning pushes because you're able to hit the goblin cage with the lightning and the electro wizard once and we lose so it was really scary but we pulled it out and that was a great win 6300 in the world and magic archer plus heal spirit is absolutely unstoppable